Let's come into mountain pose for our warm ups. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, ribs toward your spine and up. And shoulders back and down. Spread your toes out, lengthen up through the crown. Take a few moments just breathing, letting the belly move as that one area expands. And then exhaling, let it sink back in. And just feel that inner awareness and keep that as your focus. Inhale, arms at shoulder level, keep the shoulders down. Stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little bit back so you can keep that chest open. Inhale, up to the front, shoulders down. And exhale, the hands behind you. Just clasp them gently, press them toward the floor and lift your heart, pushing your head back. Nice upper body back bend. And then as you exhale, bring your hands up and your head down. Knees as straight as feels comfortable. Move your chin around as you get all the way <clears throat> into your forward pivot, making sure your neck stays released. And then bending your knees slightly, lift your ribs and drop your sitting bones and wind from the bottom of the spine all the way up and lift your heart. So again, you're in the back bend, but not too high with the chin. You wanna keep stretching the back of your neck. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhaling, come up, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling how your body is responding today. And of course, we're going to do the same thing again, basically. Arms at shoulder level, stretching out, shoulders down, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers one position over. And again, press the hands toward the floor as you lift your heart and stretch your head back and delay. Nice back bend and exhale over. And again, just deepen as far as you'd like to go today. Breathing, lifting the sitting bones, stretching the back of your leg as well as your spine. And then with your knees slightly bent, again, wind your way back all the way up and lift your heart. Stretch into that back bend, and don't forget to breathe. And on an inhalation, come upright, releasing your arms. Take a moment just feeling how that circulation and energy flow increases. Shoulders back and down, side stretch next. Let's keep one hand down and the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away from each other, everything straight, facing the front, no twist, and lean to the side. So this hand just slides down toward your knee, and then the other one reaches out over your head. Arm right next to your ear. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, and reach out through your head and your hand. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Feel the ribs stretch apart. And then inhale, coming up. Exhale that one down. And of course, we have to balance and do the other side. So opposite arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch the arms apart and lean, no twist, over to the side. Push the foot down, you're leaning away from for that extra rib stretch. Keep your arm by your ear, keep the shoulders even facing forward. Stretch it out, keep breathing. And then inhaling, come upright, and exhale it down. As you get back into mountain pose, just feel the sides a little more open. That was the lateral motion to your spine. So next we're doing the twist. So remember, you want those bones separating. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart. Shoulders back and down, and arms at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, bring the arms back by your ears. Sitting bones down, shoulder blades down, crown high. Stretch the spine apart and exhale to a twist. Take a breath in, spread your toes, keep the weight on both feet, and exhale over. And just deepen as far as you'd like to go. Arms by your ears still, sitting bones lifted, and breathing. So feel that whole stretch on your body. Keep the weight on both feet. And when you're inhaling, work your way up in the twist. 
into the upper body only for the back bend. Remember, no pressure in your low back while you're twisting. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. Don't forget to breathe. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, spread your toes, and again, exhale to twist the other direction. Take another breath, keep the weight on both feet, and pivot over the fronts. Take a few breaths there, lifting your sitting bones, keeping your arms next to your ears, just deepening as much as you would. And again, on an inhalation, work your way up in the twist into that upper body only back bend. So lift your heart, stretch the elbows back. Keep breathing. And when you're ready to inhale up, exhale the rain to the center and extend your arms up into extended mountain. So feet even, weight into the base of the toes and heels and up through the whole body, reaching out through the head and the fingertips. Just feel that stability in mountain pose. Sitting bones are down, shoulder blades are down, core is active, ribs in and up. And then that's swan dart. So bring your arms to shoulder level, palms down, pivot at your hips, bring your body parallel to the floor as much as you can and stretch everything out. And then just drop into ragdoll hanging. Take a moment there, or pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs, and feel that stretch on your back. And then arms to the center, and roll up one more time, back into mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, shoulders back and down, and crown reaching toward the ceiling. Feel your body more circulation and energy flow, and breathe. And then bring your hands onto your back. So heels of the palms at your shoulder blades, fingertips down towards your hips, and the rest of your body in mountain pose. And then pull your elbows way toward each other. Feel that heart area expand across your chest. Spread your toes. Keep your hips over your ankles. Look toward the ceiling, but don't lift the chin too much. So keep stretching the back of your neck. And then push your head way back away from you, coming into a nice supported back bend, feeling that whole spine stretch even while it's contracting in the back bend. So keep stretching out, sinking down, sitting bones toward the floor, and don't forget to breathe. And then chin toward your chest and come upright, releasing your arms. Feel a little bit more circulation there one more time. And we'll go to the wall or a door, anything that's nice and stable, and stand in front of it about a couple feet apart, and hands right in front of your shoulder, so the length of your arm back. And then bring the hands up, the length of the palm just above your head, and take another step back, pose straight ahead, knees and toes aligned, and then push your sitting bones back, drop your ribs and your heart. So you're coming into a back bend with the top of your head crown reaching up towards your hands. So the whole back bend is from the sitting bones all the way through the queen. Just keep dropping the ribs, dropping the heart, pushing the hips slightly up and back behind you. And just let that deepen into the back bend as much as it would like. And exhaling any tension, just feeling that stretch through the whole length of your spine. And then tucking your chin slightly, bend your knees a little bit, and then step toward the wall, releasing your arms, coming back into mountain pose, and back to the mountain. So a little bit more circulation there. One more standing warm up for that spine. We're going to do our pelvic tilts. So turn your toes slightly out. Bend your knees right above your toes. Hands above your knees, making the shoulders right above your toes. And then stretch the spine long and straight to start with. And then as you inhale, pull the chest forward and the sitting bones back. So you're checking that pelvis way out. Sitting bones going up and back. 
chest forward, ribs dropping there, looking slightly to the front, coming into once more. That back bend we were just in. So feel the shoulder blades going toward your waist, everything sinking into that back bend position. And then tuck the sitting bones down and forward and around right your full spine. So your shoulders stay right above your toes the whole time. And you're looking C-shaped, getting those ribs back and core pulled towards your spine. And then again, inhaling, push the sitting bones back and up, ribs down, chest forward, and back bending. Shoulder blades towards your waist, everything in the back again. And then exhaling, tuck it forward, and sitting bones down and forward, ribs in and up, and chin is slightly tucked. And again, just follow your breath, inhaling into the back bend, exhaling into the forward again. And just feel that whole spine move and get every bone in your spine rotating in and out. And then the next time you exhale forward, stop a moment and then inhale your way back up into the mountain pose. Whole spine more activated, getting ready for a little floor work on our back too. Hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands toward the ceiling. Look at your thumbs, bring them back again, hips over your ankles, lifting your heart, looking behind you, coming into as much back bend as you like. And exhale, hands coming to your heart, pivot at your hips, drop down into ragdoll. Let's do that halfway up stretch, hands under your knees, pressing into your shins, elbows, knees, and spine, straight and stretching open. And then bend your knees and transition to the floor into our child pose. So coming onto your heels with your hips and turning your hands, palms up, forehead down toward the floor. So just deepen into that as far as your body wants, feeling that forward bend through the whole spine. Take just a moment there and breathe. And then bring your hands out to the front, to the sides of the mat. Give it up, slide your feet back, drop your hips to the floor, feel the back bend as you roll your ribs to the floor, and finally your shoulders. Hands palms up next to you, turn your head to the side, into resting crocodile. Take a breath or two, just let those shoulders sink down. On an exhalation, turn your head to the opposite side. Let's take a few breaths, letting everything relax. And then bringing your forehead toward the floor, clasp your forearms across your lower back for support. And then inhaling, turn your face to the front, tuck your chin back toward your chest, pull your shoulder blades way down toward your waist, feet are hip width, and hips sinking into the floor. So chest forward and up, bring the crown of your head, top of your head up toward the ceiling. Don't pull that chin too far forward. You don't want to crunch the back of your neck. You want the neck stretching apart, coming into this supported version of a back bend. Take a breath, stretching out through the toes, up through the crown, heart toward the front. Take another breath. And as you exhale, bring your body down. So remember, personal practice, just go as high into these things as you would like. Exhale, your head to the side. Again, rest and crop it up. And just allow your body to do what it needs to do. Exhale, head to the opposite side. So keeping your feet hip-width apart, turn your head's hands, palms down, your face forehead toward the floor and we're going to rotate again the face forward crown up chin tucking back slightly pull the chest forward and up shoulder blades toward your waist and as you're there lift your feet just slightly off the floor stretching back through the base of your toes and then if you want also raise your hands off the floor just slightly and push your hands back toward your toes. 
So a little deeper back bend if that works for you. Remember, personal practice, if that's too much, go lower. You can keep your hands down. You can even keep your feet down. You don't need to do anything that feels wrong for your body. Stretch it out if you love it. You can inhale the crown and feet up even higher. And then slowly as you exhale, bring your feet and hands and rotate your forehead down. Take a moment there. And again, turn the head to the opposite side to start. Hands, palms up, going into your resting crocodile. After a breath or two on that side, exhale, head to the opposite side, always working the neck evenly on both sides. Take a moment and breathe. And then again, bringing your forehead to the floor, hands turning palms down. We're going to get once more. Inhale the face forward and crown up, chin tucking back. Focus on the chest, on the heart, forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. And again, bring your feet just slightly off the floor, stretching back through the balls of your feet, base of your toes, and keeping the hips down. Hands slightly up as well. Stretch it back, coming into your Superman boat. And then as you inhale, bring the arms around and forward, right in front of your shoulders, coming into that full Superman pose, stretching it out like you're flying through the air. And exhaling, bring your hands back to your sides, exhaling the feet and hands and forehead down. Bring your hands under your shoulders, press up and back, and get a nice forward bend in your child pose. So shoulders forward, hips back toward your heels. You can separate those knees and just get a good stretch, or you can pull them together and get a little even more lower back stretch. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel your body. And exhale any tension. And then again, bring your hands to the sides of the mat. Pivoting up and rolling forward. So hips come down. You can feel those whole spine moving all the way to the mat. Shoulders again down, hands, palms up. Exhale, head to one side. And take a moment, resting crocodile. Exhaling any tension. Just let those shoulders relax. Exhale, turn your head to the opposite side. And again, feet hip width apart, hip bones down, and turn your forehead toward the floor. Bring your hands next to your head and your elbows in toward your sides. And we'll do a sphinx position, cobra. So once more, inhale, face forward, crown toward the ceiling, tuck that chin back slightly, shoulder, shoulder blades down toward your waist, heart forward and up. So only coming as deeply into that as your back wants to bend in the back bend. Keeping that focus right at the heart and bringing it forward and up. As you're in that position, kind of pull the elbows back and in toward you. you feel that heart area expand a little more across the shoulders. So just notice how your body responds in the back bend. If you've gone too high, just lower it further toward the floor. If you love it, you can go even higher with that chest forward and up, and that'll get a little bit more into the lower back, but you never need to do that if that feels wrong for your body. Make sure you're doing only what's right for you. Take another breath, and as you exhale, just slowly pivot back to the mat. As your forehead gets down, just release your hands, palms up at your sides, and again, turn your head one direction, a breath or two, and exhale to the opposite side. Take a moment to breathe, just feeling your body. And then one more time, forehead to the floor, hands under your shoulders, elbows in toward your sides. And we're going to 
Inhale, face forward, crown up as always. Tuck that chin back so the neck keeps stretching in your back bend. And focus once more, heart forward and up, as high or not high as your body wants to go. Crown is toward the ceiling and chest is expanding. Bring those shoulders back and down toward your waist, elbows slightly in toward your sides. You don't need to extend the arms. We're just going up into this bent arm cobra. So just feel the heart. That's where you want the focus to be. Back of your body as well as the front. Just notice how that feels on the back as well as across the chest. Take another breath, maybe higher with the crown if you love it. But remember, your spine is supporting you, not your hands, so not a lot of pressure at all in the hands. Take a moment to breathe. And once more, exhaling, bring your forehead all the way to the floor. Head to one side, hands, palms up at your side, shoulders down, just feel that stretch across the back. Exhale, head to the opposite side. And again, just let your body sink through the shoulders, feeling what's going on for you. And then once more, head to the floor, forehead to the floor, hands under your shoulders, elbows into your side, feet hip width apart, hips sinking down. One more cobra. This is optional for you. You can decide if you want to go further or not further. But we're starting the same way. Face forward, crown up, chin tucking back, feeling that heart as your focus. Chest to the front and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down toward your waist. You can stay in this version. Remember, no pressure in the hands, just let the spine do the work. Or you can go further and a little pressure in your hands, coming up, elbows slightly bent still and in toward your sides. So hips are down, feet are hip width apart, the lower body does nothing, only go as high as you want. The higher you go, the more your lower back gets involved. So if you don't want your lower back involved, don't do too much. Take a breath, chest forward, shoulders down, and crown toward the seat. Check your chin, make sure that you can move it around. Don't crunch it too much. Take another breath, going as high as you'd like, and then exhale slowly back, upper body all the way down to your forehead touches. And again, just release your arms, shoulders to the front, toes just relax together and breathe. Exhale the head to the opposite side and just let your whole body release and relax a moment. And then once more, forehead to the mat, hands under your shoulders, but this time, press into them and back, and once more into child's pose. Take a breath. Just relax. Feel that stretch on the whole back of your body, forward bending, letting everything release and relax that we were back bending. And then again, inhale your hands to the sides of the mat, pivoting up. And rolling the hips down into the floor, shoulders to the mat, hands palms up, rest in crocodile one more time. So we're going to again do a cobra. Only go as far as you want to go. Keep stretching through the spine while we do it. Exhale your head to that opposite side while you're in resting crocodile. And just take a moment to breathe, getting ready for your cobra. And remember, you only have to go as deeply into the back end as you would like. Once we get up, we're going to do a twist. So as we do that, only go as far as your body is willing to go. Forehead to the floor, hands under your shoulders. You can keep your forearms down, elbows into your sides if you want to do the sphinx version. Or you can do the hands under your shoulders, elbows in towards your side, but the forearms up if you want to do the full version. So forehead to the floor, feet hip width apart, inhale, face forward, crown up, chin tucking back, focus on the heart, forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. As always, do what's right for your body. Feel the cobra back bend as much or as little as you need and want today. 
And then lengthening up through the spine, sitting bones way back behind you, get that spine nice and open in its back bend. And then as you exhale, put one shoulder slightly down toward the floor as you lift the other one and look to the front of that direction. So the hands are a little bit of pressure on the floor to keep things aligned. Your hip that you're turning toward is slightly up so that your hip, ribs, and shoulder all are turning to the side, not just your neck. Stretch it out. Breathe, chest forward and up. You can be higher in the cobra or lower in the cobra. You can even have your forearms on the floor. Exhale, turn your body back toward the floor. Get back into your regular cobra. And exhale, forehead back down. Take a moment there, just feeling your body, exhaling any tension, getting ready to do the same cobra, but to the opposite twist. So once more, face forward, crown up, chin tucking, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, coming as deeply into your cobra as you go. You can be higher, you can be lower, it's all personal practice. And again, as you're in that position, make sure your sitting bones and base of the skull are stretching away from each other, opening those vertebrae so that you can twist. Take a breath, and as you exhale, opposite shoulder slightly drops, other one coming up as that hip slightly lifts, looking to the side with your whole spine and the hips, ribs, and shoulder moving into the twist, not just turning your neck. Take a breath, exhaling any tension. Maximizing, minimizing, doing what's right in your twist for your body. And then on an exhalation, once more, bring the face back around to the front, straightening out in your cobra, up your chin, bring your forehead to the mat. And keeping your hands under your shoulders, press into your hands, Coming into your forward bend in child's pose. Exhale any tension, letting everything go. And you can stay in child's pose for our relaxation today, or slip off your heels, bring the feet to the end of the mat, activate your core in staff position, and roll onto your back into position for our relaxation. So choose your position and just let everything release. Shoulders down into that surface beneath you. Feeling that earth support where whatever parts of your body are touching the mat. Deep breath in, exhale. Just let your whole body sink even further. Just let all the muscles release and relax. Lots of spine work today, so you may move your shoulders around. Do what you need to do to relax your spine even further. If you're in corpse position, bring those toes toward each other and then just release. Whichever position you're in, hands or palms up, slightly away from your sides. Shoulders down into that surface beneath you. Release any tension in your neck. Exhale, just deepening into that earth support. Let your body go completely. And as you breathe deeply and relax even further, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as those thoughts drift away, know that other thoughts will come to you. Just let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts flow in and out without attention. Letting the content of the thoughts disappear. And as your body sinks deep into that earth embrace, and your mind floats freely into the ether. Just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind, focusing only on that peace deep within. Feel your body. 
Fill your mind. Fill your breath. Fill your being only with peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing longer today, take all the time you have. If it's time now to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the woman, to your body. And begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you as you breathe more fully and stretch more completely. And whenever you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, when you're sitting bones toward your heels, your heels up toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however feels right for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you've had enough hug and appreciation, bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.